and welcome to Wolf Farms. I'm Don, also known as Knit and Wolf. <laughs> and I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. We're in the month of November, and for the month of November, we have an apple crisp on sale, 25% off for the entire month. So, um, so we want to buy the shop, you can get that at a great discount. That's one of our popular fall, uh, smells like apple pie, apple crisp, mm, mm. good stuff. Apple cider. Yeah, or nice. candles, you get that burning in the house and it just wafts through the air. And you don't even have to cook, you just light her up. Um, light her up. Light her up. <laughs> I'm wasting all my comedy before we got started, that's why we're laughing. So mm. yeah, I have to bring that all back in here <laughs> as we're filming. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, we're actually putting in the shop a limited edition scent. It is Honey Almond. Um, and we'll probably be doing this uh, periodically. We're going to try and do it you know, every, every month or so, come out with a limited edition. Um, so you can try this out. We, we only have so much because we only have, uh, we got a mass of small sample uh, fragrances that we've collected over over time and we thought well we'll make these into soaps make them into limited editions we get good feedback from people and maybe it might be something to consider putting in the shop but we already have 40 cents so it's it's like we can't would be it'd be hard to manage 80 80 plus fragrances all the time um, but not only that not only a limited edition but we're also discounting it 50% off of our normal price. So you actually get this for about two and a half dollars a bar. Um, so they, you know, to kind of clear up our store, we're kind of overrun by fragrances. So we're trying to clear that out. So I'll get these moved. You get something to discount, but I'm gonna limit it to only two, two bars per customer to kind of spread the love so that other people can uh, take advantage of that. So that's in the shop now, 50% off our normal price. I think it's uh, $2.49 a bar. So um, swing on by, you can only buy two. You know, if you try and get more, it's gonna tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, check that out. Um, and then, uh, like I so said, we'll, we'll probably have other sales items. I wanted to mention also uh, shop-wise, we sent out a uh, flyers for our big sales through those that subscribe to our newsletter in our shop. So if you're a customer and you have your newsletter checked that you want to receive that, then you'll get our little announcement. If you don't have that checked, you might want to go in and check it at least for the next week or so um, so that you get any announcements that are coming out of our shop on sale items and whatnot. And if you're not a customer yet, you can go in and create an account check that you want to see it. You don't have to buy anything, but you'll at least get our sales flyers. So um, got some uh, stuff that we're working up for the next week or so. <laughs> so um, check that out. And then uh, like I said, keep and an eye on it. we do that once or twice a year. So you're not going to get spammed. Yeah, we, we don't do it too often. It's, you know, like I said, a little bit of a uh, plug here on the podcast and, and, and then an occasional mailing around Black Friday, Cyber Monday time. <laughs> so anyways, but uh, yeah, swing on by. Like I said, uh, we got this 50% off until we run out. And then once it's out, it's out. Because we don't have any more at this point in time to make. So, But I figure we'll start doing that. And uh, clearing clearing out some of the fragrances that we have you know, just small quantities of to try them. And you might enjoy them. And if you, we get enough feedback from you guys, we may be, add something into the shop based on that. So, yep. so anyways, I want to welcome new and returning viewers. Sorry for the extended commercial. We don't normally go that long, but mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stuff to add on for this particular podcast, especially with all the stuff that's happening. I want to welcome uh, you guys to our podcast and I'll let Don go through our list of I'm enjoying episodes. Watching you. I'm being very animated today. I don't want to yes, don't want to spoil my uh, humor that I've I've pretty much I've had about a ten minute run before we even push record. So. I'm like, wait, wait, <laughs> don't ruin it. And I was like, okay, well, I'll enhance it. I'm primed and ready to go. <laughs> so this week's segments include farm happenings in farmer's almanac. <laughs> Forget that every week. In the coop, in the arena roundup. Should be Zoom. a quick one. We always say that, but you know, you know how that goes. Yep. It's it's it'll be more than five minutes. 
<laughs> in less than an hour. <laughs> so farm happenings. So farm happenings. What's uh no, okay, well we Wednesday. Wednesday was Fuji's chemo day. Fuji mm -hmm. is our white applehead chihuahua. And she has lymphoma. She was diagnosed last August, mm -hmm. and uh, no, she was I last August of 2013, not last August. Oh, okay. I see. What so you we've mean. already got a year uh, plus, so yeah. but that's a confusing. Fifteen things. months. If you've been watching us long enough, you know. I know. But if, if you're new, you then you maybe know. you don't know. So. <laughs> Anyway, so back there to the story. A, we were talking yeah. about Wednesday taking her to her chemo. I've been up since 2.30, so if I seem a little space, more space cadet that's she, why. If she starts snoring, I'll just <laughs> yeah. keep entertaining, get my jazz hands going. <laughs> <laughs> but we, she's been, uh, Fuji's been having um, problems over the last... Since Halloween. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's been a stomach issue, and then her lymph nodes have been... They were huge. So swelling. she had to check with our local vet on Monday, and then the blood work. Mm -hmm. Blood work was phenomenal. It's the best it's been since before she was even diagnosed. Yeah. Blood work has no say in showing cancer. Well, the, the, the issue is, is when you have bad blood work, it means things are really bad with the yeah. cancer. If, if it means right now nothing's affected by her lymphoma, which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, this, she's got really good numbers and that's that's a positive. But she's... With her nodes being huge. They were the size of... Uh, marble size. The boulder size mm -hmm. marble. Marble size. I mean, they, were, well, they weren't as big ones. as... They weren't as big as when she first got diagnosed. No. But and they then, were larger than they should be. And, right. and we've been watching and they've slowly been getting larger and larger. She's in the middle of going through chemo, which is kind of worrisome that it's coming back while we're going halfway through, chemo. through we're halfway through and it's and she's so, out of remission so don has been in panic mode for oh, yeah quite a while worried about it and she's been contacting because our oncologist has been in chicago <laughs> and so it's not like we can run down there ahead of time and so we had to wait for her to return um but don's been texting her because we have her you know Personal, personal phone, phone and number stuff. and email address and stuff. So Don's been communicating with her, and she didn't sound overly concerned, and our local vet didn't sound overly concerned. Um, so, I knew just yeah. by going through the, yeah. her being, you know, when she was first diagnosed and then coming out of remission in July. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I knew. Yeah. But uh, she had a big chemo treatment on Wednesday, and then put back on steroids and. Yesterday, mm -hmm. the nodes are Completely gone. Completely So that means remission. Yeah. So. So basically what it means that she came out while she was going through chemo, chemo is that one of the chemo drugs is not working. So there are other ones that they can use that the cancer may not be immune to. So that being said, you know, we got our fingers crossed and the oncologist sounds pretty confident that this is just you know it's an adjustment to what we're currently doing and that it's not not unusual and problematic so so we went through the the one drug that it's a real hard-hitting one this is the one that they do the ekg on and you know because over time it can affect the heart but uh, they did that with fuji and then they gave her prednisone which um, is a temporary fix when they have that it knocks it down but then it, you know if you're not doing the chemo with it it, it almost immediately yeah. comes back and and so uh, with those shrunk down and everything Fuji's so we're like better. <laughs> we're like in a because it'll be some new drugs now that she'll be given plus we don't know if we start back at the beginning of the protocol because the protocol is like at the beginning, it's, it's every, every weekly, week. weekly, and then so after halfway We just point, made it to the every two week, but it, we're going to just be kind of playing yeah. it by ear to see. Yeah, so she's going to adjust it based on how Fuji responds. Yeah. And then we're still it's up in the air until we go back in, in a week and a half, two weeks, to yeah. uh, check on how things are going. And then I, I think it's going to be a little more uh, custom done treatment for her because of the what we've run into so yeah. but that like i said she's acting fine well oh, yeah. 
she was having upper GI, now we're <laughs> down lower, so, but we're gut. Well, the, the thing is, the nodes are down, That's and so everything else is now. getting kind of things uh, back in place. So, she's doing, she's doing better, let's just put that one. Yeah. And Dawn's doing better, except she's getting up early in the morning, and she'll probably well, fall asleep issues. on you here. Yeah, we had so. issues this morning, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then... You and Jimmy went oh. to the movies and... Yeah, Jimmy uh, has been a week, week or probably two weeks ago, has been asking to go to the movie Dumb and Dumber 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you sure you want to go to the movie theater? Usually we just wait for it to come on, you know, video and we get it through Netflix or whatever. Unless it's a it. biggie, like... Yeah, there's certain Harry ones Potter. that we just, we just go buy at the store when it comes out just because we want it in our library, but... Other than that, if the movie's not deemed to be, you know, buy worthy, then we just wait and we get it through Netflix and mm -hmm. either stream it if it's available or, or order the DVD so we can watch it that way. Uh, but he was really, mm, we want to go see Dumb and Dumber 2. You know, this is the Jim Carrey and I can never remember that guy's name, the other guy, you know. And so we went to see that and, uh, you know, I took him. You know, and we, we, we watched it. It's it is the typical sequel. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's the typical sequel. If you have not yet gone to see it, wait till it comes on DVD because uh, <laughs> you know there were some humorous parts, but you know it was he, he Jimmy seemed really kind of mm, bummed about it not being funnier. I think he was expecting something uh, on the level of Dumb and Dumber original. You know, but, it, you know, he, he, he'll he learn. <laughs> it's like, oh, we could have gone and saw this other movie. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's always next weekend or whatever, you know. But uh, and then I took him out to lunch. We took him to In-N-Out Burger. Uh, he's never had an In-N-Out Burger. But the problem is this kid does not like anything on his burgers. Meat, cheese, bread. That's it. So, I mean, you kind of lose the magic of an In-N-Out Burger. For those of you that aren't haven't been to California it's, it's predominantly a California burger place that's all over the place I think there's a couple in Arizona and a couple in Nevada by Vegas so if you go to Vegas you can find an In-N-Out burger but you know great burgers you know they you can get them you know any way you want they're you order it up and they make it to your order and you just meat cheese bread I'm like ah oh, like, so I'll lose it out but this is his first one, so I thought, well, maybe next time we'll get the grilled onions, because he likes onions, so we'll, we'll work him up to having kind of a little bit more on the burger, and maybe he'll start <laughs> expanding his taste buds. <laughs> but so we, we did that on uh, was that Friday, and then uh, yesterday, uh, well, Saturday, um, uh, I did my usual morning uh, routine with Dawn's dad and go out and do our garage sale, get our breakfast. And then we went out and actually worked on a tractor out at Dawn's grandma's house. Um, we replaced the carburetor on it uh, several weeks back and we had to get that dialed in. Still some issues with it. We're going to have to change, do some tune-up on the the uh, spark plug, the distributor cap and whatnot. There's still some uh, work that needs to be done on it, but we, did, we spent some time. I did get some tractoring done, but um, with the ignition running um, rough, it was kind of tough. So we kind of stopped and said, well, we'll come back maybe next weekend and change out some, uh, some of the, the distributor parts on it. That was dang windy too. Yeah, that too. It was, it was really bad yesterday. I thought <sighs> someone was coming through the door. It yeah. was banging our front door you, so hard. You know you're in the Antelope Valley when the trees grow sideways like that because the wind is always blowing. So it was one of those days that, you know, it was dust storms and whatnot. But it's funny because our trees do grow. They point east. So if you're ever lost, just follow the direction the trees are pointing if you want to go east. <laughs> I know Korea will know what we're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's always blowing that way. That's the way it happens yep. and us being out away from any like civilization yeah. it just it comes full blow through uh through our property so you get your teeth nice same blasted <laughs> and that's Whiter the teeth. new dental treatment go yeah. outside and <laughs> 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 uh, you're so funny i know where do sheep get haircuts where do sheep get haircuts 
at the Baba shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a funny. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> got the knee pat. <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking to. So, anyway, we're getting ready for the podcast. I'm like, mm, we got Thanksgiving coming up. I'm like, mm, I, I have to find my Thanksgiving shirts. I'm looking through. I don't have a Thanksgiving shirt. So, the closest thing I got is my pigeon shirt. Like, well, that's kind of a. Like a. Mini turkey. Mini turkey, right? We'll dress them up. We got pigeon stuffing. <laughs> We like our turkey. He's our pet, so yeah. <laughs> we don't pigeons, like pigeons. We don't, like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any more. Any we don't have any <laughs> pigeons around here anymore. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so this is the close. It was either this or my Hooters shirt. So <laughs> pigeon or owl, which way are we going to go today? <laughs> Well, we usually wear our turkey hats, but you know, we've done we that, that so many years. I think we did a couple of years in a row. You guys are probably turkey out. Yeah. You know, gobble, gobble. Yeah, we'll just roll, we'll ease into the Thanksgiving weekend. So, yeah. So, Farmer's Almanac. Hmm. More talking. <laughs> it's like, let's show, show some stuff. Okay, show, show. show some stuff. <laughs> okay, question seven, six. Don't get ahead of yourself. I know, but I'm still trying to make the funny voice. <laughs> <laughs> now the goofy tired coming. Yeah. Ooh, I just got hot, too. Can't stand this thing. It's because you're sitting next to me. You can't handle it. Huh? <laughs> me and asymmetrical things just don't fly. Maybe when I was 50 pounds heavier, it looked better, too. But Yeah. yeah. So what is it? It is the Cloud Chaser by yeah. somebody. By somebody. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I remember it being a pain in the butt, wasn't it? Mm, it was different. Yeah, yeah, you had a you had an issue with the way I think the yeah nitpicks was... yarn, but yeah. You did that not too long ago. So. No, I think at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. But it's asymmetrical, and I can't. St she likes balance. I like yeah, you know the back's higher than the front, and ah. Uh, yeah. And it's. But it looks nice from the chest Yes, it up. does. Although I keep <laughs> trying to get it to lay because it wants to just hang. Okay. How about that Farmer's Almanac? How about Quest it? Question six. <laughs> and this is from Amelia. I would like to know how many animals do you have on your farm? And did you always have a farm? And what made you start a farm? Sorry, there's so many questions. I'd really like to hear more about the farm. Well, we kind of answered this last week. About why we, we started. started a farm. It just kind of happened. Yeah. So that was answer this was all kind of answered last week. But I guess we didn't say how many animals we have. Okay. We, we have start in the two house. dogs. <laughs> yeah. The house. We have three dogs. Oh, poor Sadie. <laughs> we forget about Sadie because she's such a quiet, oh, no. crazy dog. Three dogs. dogs two two cats. cats. Bearded dragon. Mm -hmm. Then... How many chickens? About 20-ish? Um, we have 16 hens and we have six roosters. Where are you getting six? One, two. Oh, well, uh, we've lost a couple this year. That's my <laughs> last guy. We've four. got... Uh, four roosters. Two and two. Yep. Yeah, we get four roosters now. We lost all of our, our friendly yeah. good ones this year. It's been a rough year. And we got our turkey. Turkey. We've got our ducks. We've got five, five mallards. mallards. We've got and an assortment of the other... Four other ones. <laughs> and a Vietnamese potbelly pig. And we got two girl ducks. We got... Yeah, I counted them all together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Our geese. Oh, yeah, geese. Don't forget about the geese. <laughs> two and, geese. and about a hundred, a hundred uh, dove doves that come out. Yeah. They're wild, but they hang out. And we get a, a coot that keeps showing up yeah, on occasion. Yeah, he showed back this week. He goes and he disappears. And, and we get well, a... I scared him when I was working on the electrical fence. Yeah. But... There so... Our coyote blocker. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's Just about it. Yeah. Handful. Yeah. And then... Uh, Going to get more this spring. Yeah, we'll get more. Uh, we're going to get uh, hens. Yeah. Make sure. We're going to go through uh, probably McMurray where we can pick out the... Well, uh, yeah the 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 sex of the bird so otherwise we end up with all sex links 
which mm-hmm. are the ones, those you can tell by the color of the baby, what uh, whether they're boys or girls. But we need more girls and less boys. Because yep. the boys just make noise and eat food. <laughs> and attack Don. If yeah. You're... He's got a special name. Yeah. Can't say it on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you fill in the blank mm-hmm. here. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Yep, so question seven, since we, I put another question because we kind of, we already answered that one last week. So question seven is from Kathy Ann, and this is for me. She says, I only started watching podcasts in February. Shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's missed a lot of the history, and every once in a while I'll allude that I'm allergic to everything. Yes, I am. And what's your journey in this area? How does it impact my diet? Decision to make our soaps and lotions, and if it's gotten worse as I've gotten older. Yeah. So, and no, this is what not person. I am so open. Yeah. You know, I'll pretty everybody, much tell you everything. Everybody that's watched for a while knows that Dawn has allergies. <laughs> to everything. Yeah. Starting from when I was little, it was more of the... Uh, the allergy, the, the pollens the and pollens. grasses and Yes, trees I've had the testing and, done... Three times, you know, when they used to do it on your back, mm-hmm. when they do it on your arms, I've had them done. I'm allergic to all trees. I'm allergic to all weeds. And these are the highest ratings on all of these. I'm allergic to dogs, cats, bunnies, molds. You know, everything you get tested for, they raised the highest. And you have a bunch of food allergies, which food kind allergies of goes they don't back test to... for. But you have food allergies to Anymore. avocado and almonds. And avocado, uh, almonds, onions, milks, all... products. Uh, meat. Meats, red meat. Red meat. Well, that's more IBS, but, but yeah. That's, that's still a... Yeah, I can't eat it all. We have fun cooking here on the farm. Yeah. How many different ways can you fix Chocolate. chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's tons of that, and then skin allergies. Skin allergies to and fragrances, even if it's too loud, it's migraine. So when I judge at the fair and the older women are bathing in the perfumes, it's migraine for days. Yeah. Um, to our products, yes, I am allergic to so many of the companies that say they're organic. They put in shea, jojoba. Oh, sure. Those are nuts. I swell up. They or they use almond oil, which I can't even touch anything with almond. I swell up. Um, red they use dyes. red dyes. I can't. I can't have red. red. Um, I swell well, up on that too. So you've had before we we started making our soap, right. you were using the store-bought stuff and you would have really bad eczema. It would, yeah, it eczema would really, too. Yeah. That would be your reaction to stuff. And even like laundry soaps. and Yeah. She's <laughs> pain in You wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, you know, what, six years ago now? Yeah, it's been a We started making our own. It has three oils, coconut, palm, and olive oil. No colorings. You know, of course, we have essential oils, but well, we, have, we put it at a level I can tolerate. Or, this is our test subject. Yeah, I am the guinea what, pig. If I can't use it, it's not happening. Yeah, well, like I said, we, we, we have the just the three oils, no coloring. Uh, we have unscented, so for those, you know, we, we do this. We start off for Dawn, right. you know, and, and it kind of had grown from there because people that Oh, I Dawn want some and, of that. You know, yeah. So it kind of, kind of snowballed from there, and then we kind of... You know, here we are, you know, six years later, whatever it's been, it's been a journey. But, you know, so we have an assortment of the, just the, it, all of our stuff is like that. The three base oils, mm-hmm. no colorants. And no then, animal products either, because that's yeah. another. Yeah, it's a vegan. Vegan thing all, is the goat, you know. Well, yeah. if you're allergic to animals. Yeah, it's all the, the, the vet, uh, food grade uh, vegetable oils and that's yeah. it. But we have like an assortment of scents. I know we've had some people have issues with some of the cinnamon. the cinnamon stuff. So, you know, you have to kind of look at the ingredients. We list our ingredients on all, mm-hmm. every bar. Each one's a little different. Like uh, some we use fragrance oil, some we use essential oils. 
like the eucalyptus mm -hmm. soap and the lavender soap or the essential oils um, and some of the other ones that are, you know, uh, not your, you can't really have an essential oil for it. Those are just the fragrance oils. But it, we use the, the best stuff we can get to make them uh, at the least problematic for people that have skin sensitivities. So yeah. and that's, that's, that's how we got started. Yeah. Thanks to Don. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and has these uh, sensitivities or reactions gotten worse as I've gotten older? Yep. Yeah. Way worse. You yeah. Know, so, and even newer ones, you know. Yes, and you're. It's it's kind of funny because it seems to change over time. You're a little more tolerant to some, that it seems like, and and less tolerant to others. It's yeah. kind of kind of goes ebbs and flows, but it's always a challenge. Yeah. Get creative with cooking. Very, I eat a lot of veggies. Yeah, we don't eat out very Never. often at all. Panera is it. Yeah. For Salads. Me. Yeah. It's been tested. <laughs> you can eat it. <laughs> and it's good, too, so. But yeah, we usually, we usually. Well, uh, that and I never use dressing, so. Yeah. And if I do, it's on the side and I t dip just a teeny, my fork into it, so it's never, ever, ever. The, so yeah, it's, so, a, it's so, a joy. So now you know about Don's allergies. <laughs> you name it, I'm yeah. allergic. So. Yep. Yep. Gotta hang in there. So I think I answered everything. There's a lot of questions there, but you know you can always ask me. Yeah, I like to talk. <laughs> so no, in the coop. In the coop. In the coop, I have my scrappy happy blanket. It's. Uh, the Mitered Squares by Shelley King. And I finished the end of this side. And those mm -hmm. are all Courtney Knit and Pearl Girl squares. And then I started on a new row. And this is Marie's square she just sent me. And then this is the Knitter's Nightmare Fuji's Apples. Mm -hmm. And then this is that uh, Topanga, it's Inner Yarns In, and then Desert Vista Dye Works. And yes, these three projects are even still on the needles, <laughs> but I needed to add something to my blanket and, so might be uh, to finish to, the week. Yeah, yeah I was say, it might be uh, time to set that aside until you get some more... Yeah, uh, it'll probably go in... Sock scraps. Yeah. yeah. So, Just have to knit more socks. I know. Well, or, and I'm, start, <laughs> I'm still in from what I'm knitting, so it's like... Yeah. Hmm. Set it aside. Yeah. Work on your happy projects, your other other happy projects. I know you like working on that. Uh, yeah. It's a good quick quick finish. And sometimes it seems to take, well, probably because I'm texting in the mornings and looking on Ravelries, because I'm like, sometimes this takes more than just half an hour for a square. You know, it's like, gosh, I've been here two hours and I've done one square. <laughs> <laughs> so in my So For You Snoopy bag, I have Jamesy Socks. And yeah. this is Desert Vista Dye Works Holiday Stripe, size 1 needles, 2.25. This is the second sock, and you can see the dicky do. I only knit this at the at Fuji's Chemo because she's hooked up to the IV for quite a while, and then this morning, so. Yeah. You've been bit. focusing on your other project. Yeah. I haven't really knitted much. Well, it's been a... Busy week. Been a busy month. It's caring for food. Yeah. So, darn needles <laughs> just keep Get poking up at Get me. In there. So then, in my stitch by such stitched by Sasha. <laughs> Your tree my guy. happy trees. Yep. This is my vodka lemonade. Eliminate by Thea Coleman. She is our designer along er. <laughs> She is my favorite designer ever. I think I added another one of her sweaters into my queue this week and yeah. put on my Christmas list the yarn I'm wanting. <laughs> so and this is done in Cascade Vero DK. Discontinue. <laughs> They should bring it back. I know, you're liking that. Yeah. Let's see if there's a replacement or something comparable to yeah. that. So let's put that there. So I finished the back. 
and I extended her patterns are wonderful because you can put extend or subtract whatever you mm -hmm. want very customizable so I did a couple inches there to finish that off and it goes this is a crop sweater it usually ends like right at your waistline waistline mm -hmm. above your jeans but that would bug me so I added a couple inches I tried yeah. it on this morning kind of hard to <laughs> so a uh, couple inches yeah I think it goes it about two yeah. inches past your so top of your pants yep yeah. so that's really pretty detail pattern detail <laughs> <laughs> and so then I started the arm one arm and I have that on the needle so that's a good nine inches because I have all the decreases done and now I'm just to the point where I can knit to where I want it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was trying it on again this morning to see where I, because it's a three quarter length sleeve, where I actually want that to end. Yeah. So then I, I almost that. had the idea of just going ahead and making it long. Mm -hmm. But then I think I push up anyways, so I don't know, I haven't made yep. up my mind yet. You'll figure it out. Because I think I have, I would have enough to do long sleeves if I wanted. Yeah. Well, you were talking about going four more inches on that, but... Yeah. I haven't made up my mind. So, size five, Hayahayas. Hayahayas are our favorite Hayahaya sharps. Good stuff. Let me get the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let me do some talking, because I got want something. to do some talking? Yeah, I'll go in, in my coop. Uh, I worked on our shared pattern that we've been... Uh, uh, Don and I have been doing together, uh, which is the... Hyla Brook. Hyla Brook. By Paula Emons Feasley. And we're doing this out of Knitter's. Knitter's Nightmare. This is the Fuji Apple colorway. It is so pretty. With the, This is the sparkly base. Mm -hmm. So. She did such a phenom phenomenal job on this colorway. So, yeah. So I started doing my row. Um, I only got one row in. Uh, I need to finish that section up, but I did start. Don did her section here. Let me get well, this. I did a little bit on your section because oh. I was just sitting with Fuji in the sun the other morning. And so Monitoring there's the dicky do. We got a, a little bit done there. Not an inch. And so... It's more of a contemplative knit. Not a rush. Big word. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I did get a little bit of, of uh, knitting done on that. I know it's been a while since Probably I Probably size fives. Yeah, these are the high high sharp fives. Mm -hmm. Everything's a five. Yeah. And stitch marker always, or the stitch count always helps. So we know so where, I know where we're at. Where. So that's it's coming along. I think along. we have one more lace pattern section and then it'll start the just, ruffle. Oh, okay. Coming along. So, but it looks like we have an awful lot of yarn left. But uh, like it. it's already in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. You I did. You trimmed off the. I started from all the. Uh, you my trimmed projects. off the end, so. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so I did get a little. I actually did some knitting this week. Woohoo! I know mm -hmm. it's been a while since I showed any, just because I've been busy with other things, so. Yeah. Well, you got so many projects around here that you do, and. You know. Fix the TV speaker. We did the oh, yeah. fix the printer, and you know there's important things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting that's... fixed. So you guys want to know what kind what? of products you're getting, so we got to make sure our <laughs> our label printer is working. Yeah, because I don't know if they know that we do all the packaging, we do all the labels, we yeah. make the labels. So we print them. Print them. I got a special printer that yep. died on us, <laughs> so I got <laughs> we got a new. Uh, New special printer that's now working. Yep. So, you know how it is. You do what you gotta do. Yep. So. In the arena? Yeah, I, and I've already mentioned our uh, designer, designer along with the uh, Coleman. And featured. The featured designer. designer. So, and then we also have our Hatch and Knit mm -hmm. each month, and that should be ending next week. Yeah, we're getting. Weekish. It's coming we're close. close. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, know the if correct dates. Yeah, this, uh, I'd have to figure this out. I'm not going to do it on camera. No. <laughs> That's always fun. I don't have my phone, which has got my calendar. I just... Look. Yeah. So I guess we're into Roundup. Roundup already? Yeah, yeah I told you it was going to be short. Okay. Short and sweet. 
So I want to uh, remind you that uh, we do have our Wolf Farm video podcast button. You can get one of those for free if you uh, make a have a paid order at Wolf Farms. Just ask in the comment section, um, and we'll be glad to stick one of those in your uh, order with you so you can decorate whatever. Don't forget our Honey Almond Limited Edition Half Price Special Soap there, limited to two, but uh, swing on by. That's only going to be in the shop until they sell out, so don't wait because they may be gone if you're wanting them. Because yep. that's actually a, a decent thing. Actually, you like that, so we, we have, had to steal a bar or two for ourselves. I haven't yet, but I yeah. remember that. <laughs> Better pull it out before the, <laughs> we upload this podcast. Yep. And then uh, you got on their iTunes review, so I want to mention that. We want, if you have, you know, want to help support your podcasters just uh, encur- through encouragement, um, you know, we, we if upload you're to iTunes. thankful I- for them. Yeah, we upload to iTunes. Thanksgiving thing. <laughs> <laughs> we upload to uh, iTunes and we're on YouTube, and, you know, so there's a variety of places that you can, you know, give us a. Uh, Shout out, I know the iTunes has the ratings or reviews mm-hmm. that you can give for different podcasts. Not just ours, but any podcast that is out there. You know, everybody likes to, you know, get a little bit of encouragement that, uh, you know, we do this week in, week out and say, yay, you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you don't like it, just don't watch, you know, that's fine. You move on. There's other other ones that you might enjoy more, but uh, yeah. but how can you not enjoy us? <laughs> So, anyways, but I, I think that about wraps wraps it up then. Yep. So until next time. Let's get cracking and catching it. Happy Bye, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye.